What's going on, everybody? Um, I'm one of those people that before I get ready to go to a place for the first time, I like to watch a YouTube video on it to see exactly what it looks like, what people are saying about it. Um, so whenever I visit a new city or a new restaurant, I check out as many videos as I can, and it helps me plan for my trip. Um, so while I went to a, uh, I was getting ready to go to Philadelphia a couple of weeks ago. I've been to Philadelphia before, but uh, we wanted to try some new things. And one of the things I make a point to do is to try to at least one black owned uh, business restaurant while I'm in town. And the restaurant I came across for Philly was Brotherly Grub. Um, Brotherly Grub is, I think, if I'm not mistaken, they were a food truck and they just recently transitioned to a restaurant and they specialize in like brunch and breakfast and stuff. So I wanted to check them out and I wanted to give you guys the pros and cons because that's what I look for in videos because I know no place, no business is perfect. No business is 100% trash. So I like to try to look at people's opinions and videos and see what the good and the bad was. So with Brotherly Grub, when we first got there off the top, uh, we went on a Sunday, me and my wife, and they had the sorry, they had the wear clothes sign displayed on the door. The open, it was like a light, a light sign that lit up. It wasn't lit up. Um, it looked dark in there, and it was like another closed sign on the window. So we actually almost walked away. We almost drove off and try to find someone else. It just so happens that somebody else was walking to there and they looked kind of confused at first. And then they looked inside and then they pulled on the door, the door was open, they went in. So we was like, oh, it is open. So I assume this isn't something that they do every day. This was probably just one of those days they forgot to, you know, put the we're open sign up and everything. But that was kind of like a I hate to call it a strike, but it is because they almost missed out on some business right off the top. Um, when you get there, it's a small restaurant, and here's what I say, man. Um, the food is pretty good. My wife had like the fried, the fried whiting and cheese grits. Man, her her bill, her, her bill, her her meal was banging. It was banging. It's hard to go somewhere and find good seasoned fried fish and hers was that but she also got a salmon cake the salmon cake was not all the way how can i say together it was kind of runny on the inside so i don't know if they rushed it or whatever uh, it took a extremely long time to get the food i think we made i know we waited more than 30 minutes we waited more than 30 minutes for our food and it was not like it was crowded or anything but um, you know, I didn't I didn't mind that too much. I had the uh, the crab cake and grits. The grits were good. Not many places make grits very well. They're either too stiff or too runny. I think their grits were just right at Brotherly Grub. Um, what I didn't like was that crab cake came with like the it came with like these peppers and onions, and uh, as you see in the picture, and that sauce all over it, like. I feel like if an entree is gonna have that, it needs to be separated. Maybe the crab cake should have been separate from the grits, or the waitress should have told us, hey, this is how it comes. Do you want it on the grits or do you want it separate? I think that would have been nice to know. Um, it seems like a family owned business. Like it was a very young girl that took our order. She couldn't have been no more than 15 uh, but she actually was like the highlight of the restaurant. Very courteous. I mean, she was on point. She brought my wife hot sauce without her even having to ask because she know how black people get down with their fried food. Um, she was just very accommodating, very courteous, man. She was, like I say, she was the highlight of the restaurant. Not to say that anybody, nobody was rude, by the way. The girl that brought our food out was different from our waitress. I'm not going to say she was rude, but she, she didn't speak. You know what I mean? Like, um, and my wife had like a whole lot going on. She had like, you know, her beverage 
and the hot sauce and stuff and her grits and fish and the salmon cake came later. So as she's trying to make room, the girl is just holding the plate, you know, not trying to help or anything. Um, but, you know, who I, I don't want to give her, I don't want to make that a, a major strike or whatever, but, you know, just telling you what happened. So the food was good. Um, so what I'll say is the pros, the food is good. If you enjoy supporting black owned business, then there's that. Um, you see the award that they have for, um, you know, restaurant services for, for black owned businesses. Um, the con is, of course, the weight. I personally think until they are able to hire more staff, that maybe they should be like a, uh, you ever go to some carryouts to where you just place your order at the counter and when your food is ready, you come and get it and go sit down. That may be a route that they should go, especially now, because they just don't see, they had one cook for the whole restaurant. Because you can see everything when you walk in. It's not like the kitchen is way in the back. You can see the kitchen area when you walk in. One cook. And it was, well, I think when I left, it was maybe four other customers in that restaurant. So it wasn't like incredibly packed, but it still took a long time to get the food because it's one cook. And they're making everything seemingly from scratch. Um, so hopefully they will continue to progress and, and are able to hire the manpower to cut down on that wait time. But that's definitely one of the cons, the, the wait time. Um, and you just, it's one of those restaurants where you have to be understanding. Like you can't go there expecting, like we had plastic silverware, um, you know, uh, they brought the, they actually brought the, um, I had ordered some coffee, they brought the half and half in a cup like this. And I wanted, I guess you could say like a souvenir. So our waitress, the one that I said is the highlight of the restaurant, I asked her could I have the cup and she was like, I'll just go get you two new ones. Like I say, she was on point, we left her a nice tip. She was on point. Uh, so I would definitely say check them out, man. Um, especially like if you're like me and you like supporting black owned businesses, restaurants, you know, check them out, show them some love. The food is good. Um, I can't vouch for everything, but I can vouch for the fried whiting. I can vouch for the grits. I can vouch for the crab cakes to an extent. I live in the DC, Maryland, uh, Virginia area. So, you know, Maryland, they can't touch Maryland crab cakes, but it was a pretty good crab cake. Um, I think I had a side of bacon, which is pretty, it's hard to mess up bacon. So uh, I, I can't give them too much credit on that. But um, like I say, maybe if they're not rushing, that salmon cake could have been a lot better. And if you go and you get the crab cake and you see that picture I posted, and you know you don't want all that sauce on your grits, Ask them to separate the crab cake or just don't do any sauce at all. I don't need sauce. I've never seen sauce on a crab cake like that before, by the way. So that was new. So check them out. I hope this helped. This, like I say, this is the type of video that I look for when I get ready to go somewhere. So hopefully you found this helpful. Share it with someone else that's talking about going to Philadelphia. Uh, and before I go, I got two pages I just want to tell you to check out if you looking for some new stuff to check out uh, my wife's page tabby t t-a-b-b-y-t-e-e -E. she um she does blogs she has a try on haul right now so check her out she's just getting started and it's really good also i do a podcast three brothers no sense check us out on youtube three brothers no sense we got video clips of the uh of the show uh, so shout out to fur rising check us out i think you'll enjoy it and again, I hope this was helpful. Peace.